Now we're going to discuss belt tracking, which is very important when running the manure drive unit. You want the manure belt to be tracked as close to the center of the drive roller as possible. This helps prevent damage to the edges of the belt, and it also prevents material from being spilled over to one side or the other of the cage row. You have a good indication of whether your belt is tracked properly by looking at how much black you see on the sides of the manure belt. If it looks about the same, your belt tracking is right. Before attempting to make any adjustments to belt tracking, you want to ensure that the bearing nuts on both sides of the drive unit are correctly tensioned. Some will be loose, some will be tight. We'll start here with the chain and sprocket side of the drive unit, which has the larger cover, and it also has the power unit. And I want to make sure that absolutely the drive unit will not start up while I'm doing this, so as to avoid any injury from the chain or sprocket. The nuts on these bearings are the ones that you'll want to tighten. This corresponds to the snub roller shaft, and the one underneath this sprocket here corresponds to the drive roller shaft. Make sure that all four of these nuts are tightened. Otherwise, tracking will not have the desired effect. And be sure to replace this cover before running the drive unit for safety. There are several factors to consider with tracking, but the primary point of adjustment is on the spur gear side of the manure drive unit this primary adjustment bolt right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this protective cover, making sure that the drive unit is off and that it will not turn on for safety. In order to affect tracking when you turn this adjustment bolt, you want the bearing nuts that correspond to the snub roller shaft to be tight. So these two need to be as tight as possible. Whereas the nuts corresponding to the drive roller need to be loose. Having the nuts tight here and loose here, make it so that when you turn the main adjustment bolt, it moves this entire plate backwards and forwards, meaning it brings the drive roller and the snub roller shaft forward and backwards, which adjusts the tracking. So if I turn this bolt clockwise, it has the effect of pulling this entire plate forward. And if you observe this gap right here, you can see this gap getting smaller as I turn the wrench. It's very subtle but you can notice it over time. So this is pulling the drive roller forward, which has the effect of pushing the belt or tracking the belt to the right. So if my belt is tracking left, I will turn this bolt clockwise to correct for that. If my belt is tracking the opposite direction, then I turn the bolt counterclockwise. And now you can see this plate moving back the opposite way. This has a tendency to track the belt to the left. Be sure that you replace this cover before running the drive unit.